so much of the content that we see on social media and online and on television these days is yeah. just not appropriate for young children. But there is finally hope. Yes, introducing the adventures with Iggy and Mr. Kirk, a new live action children's show to help bring timeless moral teachings back into our kids' televisions. So for more, let's welcome in actor, author, Kirk Cameron, and senior contributor at The Federalist, Ben Weingarten. Kirk, you call this one of your most important projects. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, we are at a time where we're desperately in need for parents to wake up, to stand up, lean in, and grab hold of the leadership of their children's education, the moral values that they're learning. And uh, we've got a brand new television program that I'm, I'm looking to produce this summer to come out later in the fall. It's Think of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood only. Totally updated, high energy, beautiful animation, biblical moral values, hilarious dialogue in a show parents can trust. Is that your wife? The lizard? No, no. The, uh, the I'm looking at a picture the, 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 of the, the puppet the, the, lizard. I was like, bro, yeah. those are fighting words. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, no, is, that, is that your wife in the in the show with you? No, 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 no. no. Okay. That's Lee Ellen Baker from okay. Good Luck Charlie. She's oh is that gosh. right? Yes, right. She's wow, one of okay. the guest stars that's going to be in the show. Okay, I just saw the the, pre the lizard. He's kind of got a Kermit the Frog. He does, and I like he, it. and he's actually. Dang. He's actually animated by one of the puppeteers from Jim Henson's Muppets in Sesame Street. Oh, well, that's where you'd get. That's where you go to that's get your, you get your that. muppets, right? <laughs> non woke puppeteer from right. Russia. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, ben, so we've seen this for it's it's been it's a slow drip, right? But over the last couple of years, we've started to see more and more content. And and again, mm -hmm. I've got two little ones, and I have to like like a hawk keep an eye on what they're and they're pretty good. But you've got little ones too. What they're watching on YouTube and what they're watching on on Netflix, just because a lot of this stuff. You don't know it. It looks innocent enough. Mm -hmm. You click on it, it's definitely not appropriate for, for kids. Look, we send our schools, most people who send their kids to public schools, they're essentially indoctrination factories with professors who come from teachers' colleges that are themselves indoctrinated in Marxism. And what's their point of going into schools? Well, part of it is to create the next cadre of social justice warriors out there. Same thing, obviously, when it comes to entertainment, a field dominated by those on the left. And when they're doing their job well, they're very subtle in how they put the indoctrination into the programming and they tell pretty good stories. But honestly, the content has gone downhill as if they've gone more and more woke. But great, timeless stories told well, these timeless values and principles that have gotten us here, that's going to be compelling for kids. And parents need outlets mm -hmm. and entertainment because... To your point, you're policing everything like a hawk because you know the indoctrination is baked into the cake mm -hmm. at this point. Are you seeing more Hollywood celebrities follow in your footsteps, starting to create their own content? Because we know at this time, when it's an election year, we're seeing a lot of celebrities come out. They like to get political. and But we're seeing people like you that are kind of leaving that Hollywood scene behind. Yes, I'm seeing it all the time. Uh, songwriters, animators, mm -hmm. uh, script writers, actors, producers. There are so many within the industry that are dying to get off of this, this, mm -hmm. this woke prison that they feel that they're in and be a part of something that is going to bring hope and help to the rest of the country. So we're excited to be working with them, and we have lots of them going to be on this show, uh, uh, The Adventures of Iggy and Mr. Kirk. Nice. Where can we find the show? Well, what you do is you go to watchbrave.com. I'm working with Brave Books on this, watchbrave.com. And you can help us to make sure that this show is the best that it can possibly be. Uh, we have a whole crowdfunding thing going on because we don't want money from Hollywood or some streaming platform. We want to do this the way The Chosen did it, make it ourselves, and make sure that the content is pure. So that's how, how people can join in and help us. Can you just, just talk about that for a moment, make sure the content is pure? Because if you do take money, it's just like running for elected office. Mm -hmm. If you take money from outside groups, you are then bound to those outside groups. Yeah, th th that's how it always works. If you, you follow the money, you can usually end up finding out why did Target go woke? Why is Bud Light doing what they're doing? And uh, there are giant money sources that move these kinds of things. So what we want to animate our show is the values of the audience themselves. So if we want pro-God, pro-America values, things that will lead to liberty and blessing and protection, we've got to make it happen. And I can't make it happen, mm -hmm. but all of us together can make it happen. The Adventures with Iggy and Mr. Kirk. Good luck with the new show. Yeah. Thank We're you. excited about that. Thanks Thank so you. much for being with us, Kirk Cameron.